let's take advanced exercise in solid works and here we will create a wave pattern bottle with the help of spline first we will create outer body then we will try to cut this one so let's start with bottom body all dimensions are in millimeter wave pattern corner radius 1 millimeter bottle thickness <coughs> 0.5 gap between the wave pattern are 10 millimeter okay so let's start with bottom here we have a top view and you will see this is 70 square okay now height from here to this corner up to from here is going to be tapered so up to here 100 millimeter the corner fillet you will see here 10 millimeter okay we will do this one then we have to create this spline this is spline section view you will see this is a section view now this section view you will see this is a kind of like this the diameter for this 3.5 corner radius 1 millimeter okay and uh, these are going to start from 85 millimeter from bottom surface see and uh, here you will see diagonal for spline projection we have to create these diagonals to just fix our diagonal because while we are going to cut we need to place at exact location from where we are going to mirror this pattern equally on all sides spline handle length 35 millimeter now here angle given 45 45 this end this end this is center line remember and distance 85 from bottom let's do this now let me select top plane sketch now activate center rectangle and row one rectangle press escape key to out now let me select these two and uh, equal smart dimension 70 millimeter now go to feature and activate extruded boss base now here keep end condition blind start condition we will keep same now here just apply the length 100 millimeter just click somewhere okay now look now I am going to select any one corner fillet see here choose fillet constant type show selection bar tangent propagation the edge is going to be tangent to at going uh, connected edge symmetric radius 10 millimeter and here profile circular okay now let me select this all corner even hidden corner you can select again fillet same constant size fillet 10 millimeter and I'm going to select the bottom edge okay now again I'm going to select top plane sketch I'm going to create diagonal so activate line tool and place from this center to this center escape key again press L key in your keyboard and activate line tool now you will see the midpoint of this curve connect midpoint to midpoint no need to define any dimension okay exit now we have to create a spline surface a spline now here projection we, I want to project this on this all four corner now here is sketch selected now select the face one two three four say okay now you will see there is a line now these line we are going to use okay let me select front plane sketch I am going to draw one center line now look these li lines are diagonal line so from here to here exit activate this line from okay before this line we need one center line so connect from here to here this is mid point now activate spline simply 
from this end to connect here then third point this one right click select and exit now select this one and drag okay smart dimension now select this angle 45 degree similarly do for this 45 degree now again select this handle and apply the length this is going to be 35 okay similarly length for this handle also 85 35 okay now distance from bottom edge to this height 85 look the profile is located isometric view exit and go to this feature and activate here project curve now I want to project this line on these faces this is not straight this is circular that's why I use projection now sketch on face okay the first option now here is sketch selected now here select face so which select I'm going to select this half not this full no? okay half this half this one and this face see okay now you will see now I am going to choose swift cut now here choose circular profile now here diameter of this 3.5 is given I am going to select this you will see the preview say ok now I want to make multiple number of patterns so simply temporary axis temporary axis not located at center ok so I am going to create one temporary axis drop down reference geometry axis for reference geometry choose two plane front right you will see the preview there is a center or a, a center axis going to create circular pattern now direction I am going to select this one axis is equal to spacing 364 number of instances now select this one now you will see the preview keep geometry pattern look now let me do fillet constant type fillet radius 1 millimeter and I am going to select this one edge it is selected all again the second edge see now click and hide this one project curve now now you will see there are seven number of patterns if you count and the gap between two patterns is 10 millimeter here also written gap between the wave pattern are 10 millimeter okay so I am going to use linear pattern now direction I am going to select this axis ok ok the distance 10 millimeters 7 number of pattern feature swift cut pattern and fillet also come down and here choose geometry pattern so it won't bother you simply say ok just drop down and hide view axis look the pattern is perfectly created see now it's time to connect upper one 30 millimeter from here to here this diameter 30 millimeter outside diameter see 30 millimeter and uh, normal to face 1 mm fine then this length also 20 millimeter diameter 30 okay we will see what we can do now select this face plane now here choose distance 30 millimeter okay now select this sketch 
circle and draw one 30 diameter circle. It is fully defined. Now simply exit and go to feature and activate here lifted boss base feature. Okay. Now let me select first plane. Now second I am going to select this face. Now you will see there is two node. Now start or end condition. Start condition keeps same. End condition normal to face. You will see here angle 0 and here normal to face 1. Apply to all. So we don't need to apply in all every direction. That's it. See? Click and hide plane. Now select this face. Sketch. Convert entity. Make sure this is going to be 20. Uh, 30. Okay. Extruded boss base and make the depth. Start plane same. End condition direction 1 blind. Depth 20. Merge result say okay. Now at bottom there is a gap, 5 millimeter hole, 45 square and this is 45 angle tapered and corner radius R3, fine. Then what, there is a thread, M90 into 4, 2 millimeter is gap offset from this edge. 4 millimeter is pitch and 3 revolution. 1, 2, 3. Let's see. Let me select bottom sketch center rectangle smart dimension 45 yes. Okay. Now let me select vertical and horizontal length and apply constraint equal. See extruded cut now keep end condition line and depth only 5 millimeter but angle 45 degree make sure angle inner world not outward and see fill it Constant time fillet 3 millimeter. Okay. Fillet. 3 millimeter constant type fillet. And I am going to select this one edge and bottom face. Say okay. See this is fully defined. Okay. Now before going to create thread, I am going to apply thickness. Now look, thickness 0.5. Bottle thickness R 0.5. Then we will apply this thread. So shell feature. Now here 0.5 mm wall thickness. And I am going to select only top face. Show preview. You will see. It will take time. Okay. Let's see uh, section view. Okay, front plane. Now you will see the preview. See? See how it looks. Exit. Now drop down whole wizard thread. Okay. Now start condition is start thread from age of cylinder so I'm going to select this okay I want to keep offset you will see this is going to start from here so keep offset 2 millimeter upside that's fine now end condition we need to choose revolution 3 number of and here we need to make uh, uh, apply, uh, create a thread so here I am going to choose type metric tab. Okay. M90 into 4. 
and here we need to create so here choose extrude thread now this is going to do right hand thread okay say okay okay see now what is the material plastic abs 1020 kg per cubic meter now right click edit material go to plastic abs see mass density 1020 kg per cubic meter change apply see close now i want to apply appearance so go to here and choose plastic high gloss and here see blue plastic polished abs plastic double click and see this is going to apply look don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching